Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Uh, this right here is a Nautica Oceans. Uh, this right here smells real good. It's real strong smelling. Uh, that's what it look like, collecting dust, because I don't wear it no more. But I'm going to spray it. Let's see what the spray is like on it. Good spray. Spray real fast and spray a lot. Let's check this out, see what it smells like. Smell kind of like a, uh, let's see again. Hmm. I don't really know what it smells like. <laughs> it's a good smell, though. It smells like Chanel Allure Sport. That's what this kind of smells like to me. Chanel Allure Sports. Have you smelled that before? It's a good smell. Uh, I wore this, as you can see, about two summers ago. Uh, this would have looked like the Nautica logo down here. Nautica Oceans. Uh, this here got a good longevity on it. Uh, great projection. Um, when I got it, I was surprised about it. I think I paid about I think it was $10 for this little bottle. I was surprised about it when, when I wore it. Uh, how many people smelled it, and how good the projection was on this, and the longevity. Uh, it lasts me about 8 to 10 hours with this, and this is more like of a summer scent. Some more summer scent. Yeah, this is summer scent. And, um, no, but I believe you can wear this fall. It's that strong. It's that good. You can get away with this in the fall, too. Uh, that's just my opinion, you know. I don't know for sure, you know, that you can wear it in the fall. But I believe you could get away with wearing it in the fall. <laughs> That's just my opinion, though. I don't know. Uh, I can't say, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that's my opinion. I think you could. But uh, what it smells like to me, like if anybody ever smelled Chanel Allure Sport, um, yeah, that's, that's what this smells like. Just like it. Chanel Law Sport. Because I got it in the oils. And that's exactly what this smell like. But like I said, it's a good longevity. And uh, it's got good projection. And I got quite a, uh, quite a few comments with this right here. With the Nautica Oceans. And um, it's a good cheapie. You know, uh, I only seen it in the small bottles. I don't know if you can get them in big bottles, you know. But uh, those little bit of bottles about this size right here, all I seen, this ain't but a 30 mil. And it costs about, like I, like I said, I paid about 10, 15 bucks for this. And uh, this is the only size I seen in the um, Nautica Oceans. But I'm pretty sure they got big ones, but I just haven't never seen them before. But anyway, that's enough on this one. And let's move to the next. Uh, what I got right here, the next is uh, Cuba. Royal, so you guys heard of Cuba Royal? Um, let's see the spray. Ain't too much left in there. I wore the devil on that. Cuba Paris Royal. This is a good one. What this smells like to me, this smells like one million. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like Antonio Banderas. A lot of those scents smell the same. Uh, this is supposed to be shaped like a cigar. Like there, you hold a cigar or whatever in your hand. But yeah, the Cubas are some good alternative cheap colognes. And, um, you know, just pick them up. I also got one called Cuba Gold. Everybody should know about that. Got Cuba uh, Prostate. I've done a review on that already. And uh, 
Uh, Cuba, I think Cuba Black, Cuba Green smells like Hugo Boss. And um, these Cubans are good, really good alternative colognes, you know. Uh, you can't beat them for the price. And this one had a pretty good longevity. I got four to six hours out of this one. It was pretty good. I think I paid about $10 for this on eBay. Oh, this is Cuba Royal. It came in a can, I'm not mistaken. The container. I don't exactly know where the container is now. It's probably somewhere looking at me. I just don't know exactly where. But um, it came in something like this right here. This one of the Cubas came in this. It's Cuba Magnum right there. And I think Cuba Magnum Red. But the, yeah, this Royal didn't come in this. Uh, this is a Cuba Magnum there. But it came in a can that looks similar to that. So if you see the cubes, uh they're pretty good scents also. Uh they good a term to cologne, like Cuba Royal. Cuba Royal is a good a term to cologne to one million. Uh Cuba Gold is a good a term to cologne to Lamar. I think Cuba Red is a good a term to cologne to um what is it? John Barbados and Burberry London. And uh, I think Cuba Blue. It's supposed to be uh, CK1. And Cuba Orange is supposed to be down here, Desire Red, which is that's another good one. And I'll tell y'all more about that one in the, in the future. But that uh, Cuba Orange, Cuba Gold, and the Cuba Royal and the Cuba Red by the best four, in my opinion, you know. Uh, the Cuba Blue ain't just ain't. It ain't hitting too good, you know. I wouldn't even recommend nobody to buy Cuba Blue. Just bypass that one. I don't know. It, it smells, it's okay. But it ain't nothing I would buy, you know. I wouldn't buy Cuba Blue. But the main ones I would buy in the Cubas, Cuba Gold, Cuba Red, Cuba Royal, and Cuba Orange. That Cuba Orange off the chain, like I said, it smells like uh, uh, Don Hill Desire Red. That's a good one. Real good one. And believe it or not, I get 8 to 10 hours out in the Cuba Orange. That's real good. Down here, Desire, that's a good alternative. Cologne. For the price, I think I paid about I think 10, 11, 12, 13 bucks for the Cuba Orange also. But uh, if you see that Royal out anywhere, order that because this it smells just like 1 million by Pacquiao Raban. You got to go for it. If you don't want to spend all that money for one million, get this. This is a good return to Cologne. I get six to eight hours out of it. Good longevity, good projection, and good price. And, uh, you know, I just want to touch on it. Until next time, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And peace out. So
Don't be putting up, throw to get past his thoughts. Maybe you can bring a career back, but these things right ain't trying to hear that. Cause I'm on set, make it work, break even on 9 to 5. Cigarettes and I don't take it, trying to keep that grind alive. All my uncles, they hit the casino when they get they check. My cousins, they pay these slabs and pop in suits to get respect. This can't be like dominoes and cheap and drawing 20 sacks. Single mothers, phone and cheaters just to get their honeys back. Purple drinking trips to Kroger just to get their money stacked. Rest in peace, the scum made this reality now funny rap. You think it's funny to these youngers, suck on bunny for the jackrabbit out and get the screaming where the money at. We 